Today's vlog is sponsored by Boxu. Check the link in the description box below using the code NERDYJACKIE10 to save up to $44 off, which is 10%. Hey Greens, I would be absolutely lying if I didn't say that I'm feeling tired and overwhelmed this year and I just need a vacation, but I won't be taking any vacation until the end of December. There's just so much to do. And yes, I'm back at teaching. There's so many papers to grade and oh my God, I need vacation. It's gonna feel good to be able to travel again sometime next year. <laughs> Basically, this is me saying, I am sorry for not posting regularly on this channel. Since it is my second channel, I figured it's more of a hobby channel, even though I do love hanging out with you grains. So I'm really behind on unboxing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so behind on unboxing. I do apologize. I hope you don't hate me and I did not break your heart. I do not want to break your heart because I love you grains. So I'm sorry. With that said, most of the package are somewhere around April, but this one just kind of got buried. Uh, like all the stuff was piling on top of it and for some reason totally missed it. So, Christy from Michigan. What happened to my light? Why you gotta do this to me, light? Oh, huzzah! <laughs> this box is absolutely ginormous. And I am super excited to see what's on the inside, even though it does say that there's some craft kits. So that has me pretty... <laughs> Pretty excited. I know some of you must be missing butt pillow time, but for now, let's just sit down, take it easy on a chair. I'll sit back on the floor soon once I clean up my mess. My craft room is an absolute mess, just to let you brains know that. <laughs> I'm not hiding it anymore. It's a mess. Behind all you can see here, that's what I want you to see. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what are you? These are pretty. I don't think I've ever seen them in yellow before. I've seen them in pink, I've seen them in green, but yellow. It's cute. And I have the note. Thank you so much for the absolutely sweet words, Christy. And also, I'm very interested by the craft kit selection that you have in here. Some of them are two and a half stars, which sounds just perfectly salty. So the first thing that caught my attention were these packing, oh, what happened here? This is a little open. <laughs> are these super colorful packing peanuts. It looks like you can make some really cool designs with them. So there's this kind of little sculpture looking thing right here. I hope the camera's focusing. Otherwise, I don't know how <laughs> to show you. Hang on. And I think it's focused. I'm not sure. It's like a sculpture, a foamy sculpture. Next, we have a grow your own turtle. I love turtle. Is that a crab? That is a crab. Grow your creature. Grows 600%. That's quite the amount. Ooh, what? Oh, that is heavy. Oh my God. Natural salt candle. No, that is heavy. I've never had a salt candle before. I think there's quite a bit of benefits to salt candles. Christy, thank you. Oh, that smells good. Can I lick it? I'm genuinely curious if it's okay to lick it. Considering everything going on, I probably will not lick unknown objects. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, do know that I technically would 100% lick it. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. All right. Oh, what is that? Squishy stickers. We have a couple of squishy stickers and we have more of them. We have this cutie over here. I'll have to think of what to do with squishy stickers. <gasps> more stickers. We have some magnet stickers and some cute kitty cat and puppy. Halloween. How did you know it would take me this long to get to it? We have Halloween stickers right here. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, these are cute. Oh my God. These are absolutely adorable. I like these. Holy carp, you went all out. Oh, wow. We have a huge bundle of squishies. Where did you get these from? Slow rise squishies. Now I'm really curious. Let's open one and see how slow rising their advertisement is. So we have cute little narwhal over here and Oh, ah, oh, I dropped it. You said nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't call this slow rise per se. I would say it's actually pretty fast rise. Nowhere near slow rise. So these, these guys are looking to be made over. What? Oh, that is adorable. We have a super big, gigantic squishy. I want to say this is a sheep, but I'm not quite sure. So doesn't smell like anything. Here she is in her absolutely adorable gradient color. I really like this gradient. It's really cute. I love this one. So Christy says, I like, is this upside down? Yes, it is. I like to call this one Caracaro, avocado, but cats. Get it? 
We get diamond dots, stickers, and accessories. However, this one is a kind of lollipop donut, or is that lollipop and donut? And it says I should give it to Sika, which is a good idea if she has patience to do these things. Technically, I don't have patience either, but she has less patience than I do for crafts, I think. We'll have to test her. <laughs> but these are really colorful. I like these. I really can't get over this. I am so excited to try this tonight. If you brains know what the benefits are of a salt block, salt candle holder, let me know. Okay, your sense of humor. I feel like we would get along really well. I got a lot of resealable bags. This is really fun. Do I really complain that much about them? I think I do, don't I? Well, now I can use resealable bags because I won't run out thanks to you. Ooh, what is that? Scoo shoes. Oh, water beads. I didn't see the W when it said water beads and I kind of read hater beads. I'm like, why is this a hater? Like, what makes beads haters? But obviously I'm wrong. I like how I'm just leaning on the box and talking to you guys. Hey, what's up? Another absolutely ginormous squishy. Oh, we have extra candles. You've really thought of everything. So you have candle holder and extra candles for me. That is absolutely sweet. What? <laughs> I have miniature dragons and unicorns. This could be really awesome for a custom My Little Pony kind of companion. <gasps> I will do that. Maybe, I have to make it work though. We'll, I'll figure it out. Put it right here on my desk because I know I'm gonna be doing a custom pretty soon. And now I see a craft kit. What is that? Universe science meets style. Crystal growing jewelry. I have quite a few crystal growing jewelry kits, but I'm always, what's the word? Intimidated by the amount of time a kit like this takes. Usually it takes me a couple of days to finish a video, but sometimes these kits can take up to a week for the crystals to grow. So let me know, let me know if you wanna see a crystal growing kit. So I would have to start way ahead of time. What's this? I feel like that's the reoccurring theme is, what is this? Is that paper? Inspirational designer paper? It's so pretty. So in here, I can't really see from this side, but I'm assuming you grains can see it better than I can at this point. So we have some flowers. I think that's a parasol or, oh, Aurora Borealis. Oh, 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 inspiration. <laughs> Holy crap, that is huge. And then we have a similar one, but this one is outdoors. This box is ginormous. It is bigger than I am. I feel like I'm trying to climb out of the box because it's quite quite the box. Thank you so much, Christy. I am I'm pretty hyped to try a lot of these things. I'm not sure about the crystal growing kit. I'll try and budget my time better. Maybe when I'm on vacation, I could start growing them and not necessarily have to commit all seven days of being worried about putting a video out in a couple of days. Next, I have a package from The Good Glitter, and I could see immediately from the outside that it says biodegradable sparkles. I usually complain a lot about glitter in craft kits not being biodegradable and it's absolutely terrible to include it in soaps and all these different kinds of things and it's bad for the environment, obviously. I have a note, so let us check this out. <gasps> oh, that is a really cute note. Let's read the note. So this note here is from Genny who says that they love Angel, right? Burp. He's very distracted by all the packages everywhere. Burp. I can see your butt. Turn your butt. I don't want to see your butt. This is my life now. Oh, hi. You okay? And Genny is five years old and they have so many pets. That is amazing. And the other note. Oh my god, so this note is from Brittany. I hope I'm saying your name right. Mom of two and fur mom of many because I got quite the burp. Where are you going? Stop leaning towards the back like that, okay? You just wanna go, you wanna go over there? What do you want? Why'd you have to smack me? What did I do? You done? I'm really happy that you grains really enjoy that I am honest with my reviews. And I, I really do tell you how I feel about something, if it's gross, if it's delicious, or if it's good, or if it's... And Brittany is the owner of The Good Glitter. So if you grains are interested, definitely check her out. I 100% support businesses that are environmentally friendly and know how to have fun. Burp! Stop it! And the website is here, which I will leave in description box below as well. And apparently some of these glitters have been renamed just for me. Burp, don't be jealous, okay? Just don't be jealous. <laughs> this is cute. Here's the packaging. What, what are you doing? This is not for you. That is not for you. These are biodegradable? No way. So this is an absolutely gorgeous teal. I think this is named after my hat, so Nerdy Crafter Green or Hat Green. It's in the note. Give me a second. Jackie's hat teal. You jealous? 
Look how pretty this is. This one is called Not So Salty Silver, Not So Trashy Blue. <laughs> Ugrains know me so well. And this one feels like it's, I really like both of these a lot. I think in terms of colors, these are probably my true favorite. These are really cute. So thank you so much, Brittany and Gwen, for being responsible members of society and making absolutely wonderfully sustainable and biodegradable glitter. That's to make me so happy. Burp, you too? Yeah. Yes, makes a burp so happy. Don't stare at me like that. How about we give you a piece of paper? You just threw it away. How about this one? Next is a package from Samantha from Japan. The last time I was in Japan, a few of you grains messaged me and DM'd me and let me know that you were in Japan at the same time and some of you have been living in Japan for quite some time. And so the last time I was there, I got to hang out with I think three or four of you while I was there. Even one of you grains found me when I was playing the um, UFO machines because they had my Hero Academia characters and I was just there I think for an hour and then someone stopped me like, oh, are you a dirty crafter? I was like, oh, how did you know? <laughs> I'm always genuinely shocked when someone knows who I am because I am such a down low type of person that I never expect anyone to know who I am. Right, Burp? Uh-huh. Deserves, oh, you agree. He deserves all the recognition, right? Yeah. yeah. And so Samantha told me that she was going to send a package of goodies. So I'm super, super excited to see what's inside. Ah! It done? I have the note. Thank you for the note. I really wish that I could have come this year because I was supposed to be in Japan in March, but you know, things. And we were supposed to hang out again. So that made me very sad. What is that? So the first thing I see are some really cute acrylic toys. I feel like Angel would love these because bird toys are usually, where are you? Okay, there you go. Bird toys usually can be acrylic and it's fun in terms of the texture for them to play around with. Burp, oi. He's minding his own business. He doesn't care what I'm doing or saying. Next we have, ooh, we have tropical fruit and soda gummies. I love gummies in Japan. They call them gummy. And this here is Pokemon. I wonder if they're Pokemon shaped. I'm really curious. So we have this cute little baggie. How does it smell? Cause Japan. Oh my ah! God. Burp, stop it. These are cute. <laughs> so we have a cute little Pikachu sitting down. Mmm. Oh, very pineapple-y. Do you want to try it? He usually won't take it. He might pretend he will, but he won't. You see? He'll just touch it, but he won't really do anything. <laughs> what was that? Next, we have caramel crackers. That is so interesting. I don't think... <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever seen caramel crackers before. I'm going to double check if Angel can have, as long as there's no cocoa or avocado oil. He usually can have a little bit of things, so he would be very curious for that, right? You want... Yeah, he loves snacks. What are you? Is that what you wrote about? So this is supposed to be mayonnaise crackers. Ah. I have never heard of mayonnaise crackers, so this is gonna be very interesting to try out. Why don't we try it out now? Ah. Oh, wow, it just smells like I opened a jar of mayonnaise and here it is. It has that sour-y smell, not a terrible sour, but a sour-ish smell. Ah. Interesting. I think I like those. It's funny because the first bite, you know, it feels like you're shoving mayonnaise, but it's not. It's crackers. That was a really weird experience, but I like this. Hmm, that's pretty good. Oh, salty lemon green tea soap. She did mention this in the note, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be like an actual tiny drink. But no, this is an actual powder that we turn into salty lemon green tea. <gasps> I am so excited for this. One of my favorite drinks in Japan is actually called salty lychee, and it's exactly what you think. It's lychee drink with a little bit of salt, and it's absolutely wonderful. It's so refreshing. Ooh, a candy kit. Yes, this here candy kit is actually really, really fun to make. I don't think I've made this one specifically, or have I? I've made so many of them that I think I lost track, but if I haven't made it, I will make it. And last but not least is this in here, which I know exactly what it is because Samantha had sent me a picture of it and it was of a cat that looks kind of like my boys. So I'm really excited to see it in person. Oh my gosh, it's way bigger than I expect. By the way, I'm I'm going to have to blur part of this sculpture simply because anatomy. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. But hey, if you can't have a sense of humor in life, what's the point? So here's a super cute kitty cat. And um, definitely this kitty is packing. So this will definitely be the piece de resistance. <laughs>
Thank you so much, Sam. These goodies are going to keep me busy for quite some time. Now we have a letter from Josephine from Germany, and these are such adorable stickers on the back and the front. I try to be as delicate as possible opening these things, but I'm not usually, I'm not usually the one to do it. Burb, you are very concentrated with, with me right now. Oh, <laughs> quite a few things in here. <gasps> oh my God, are these stickers? So this note is from Koba Kuma, who has just started a sticker business. So if your grains are interested in absolutely adorable stickers, here is all the information. And I have a second. I think you're supposed to take a picture of this one. So feel free to pause or screenshot. And I think, Bert, where are you going? Stop bouncing like that. And this set of stickers is supposed to be a play on My Hero Academia. And it's, I think, my strawberry academia. So that's good. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that is cute. Okay, we have Todoroki, Bakugo, Midoriya, Uraraka, and Tsuyu. I love seeing you grains work with your talent and show me what you can make or just even write or draw, even if it's a sketch or a doodle. It makes me so happy to see that you grains are using. You want me to pet you, like right in the middle of the video? Okay. And Kobakuma had found me through the collab I did with Delightful. I love that collab so much. It's probably one of my favorites, just to name a couple. I, I do have a quite a few favorite collabs. I just love working with other creators. Now we have a note that I'm really trying to open. <laughs> it's just like, no, you shall not pass. And it says that there's artwork in here. No, that's mine. <laughs> and this note is from Delena, who is 12 years old. Oh, hang on. There has to be a mistake. This letter could not have been sent last year. Okay, my little heart almost stopped because on the note it says August 13, 2019, but the stamp on the stamps says May 11th, 2020. So this was sent in May, thankfully. I would have been so upset. Maybe this letter was written before and then you grains only had the time to deliver it. <gasps> and we have drawing. So this is me in anime form. Next we have, let me check. Ooh, a Lolita fashion. We have a fairy. This here is a photocopy of a drawing. Angel, stop it. That's mine. You can't have it. And then we have Bakugo from My Hero Academia, who's always very grumpy. And then we have a sketch that Delena made. I am super excited to say that today we are sponsored by Buxu on my vlog channel. So thank you so much. Many of you grains know that I love Japan. And I'm honestly starting to feel homesick, even though Japan isn't my home. I just miss going there because I usually go there every year. And so when it comes to Bakugo, who's sponsoring, it really feels like getting a taste of Japan. So in case you didn't know, Boksu is a subscription box of premium Japanese snacks. None of that cheap stuff called dagashi and none of those like super sugary flavors that just taste gross. Boksu really focuses on premium and absolutely delicious quality pieces. They even partner up with companies that are well over 100 years old. Every month you'll get anywhere between 20 and 25 snacks starting at about $36.99, but you also get a cultural book that talks about where these snacks come from and whether or not they're common allergens and whether or not it's friendly for vegetarians. I absolutely love knowing where my snacks come from, so that's a bonus. However, as a first-time subscriber, you will get what's called a Seasons of Japan's box, which will let you taste everything from different themes to different seasons. And after that, you will be getting monthly themed boxes. So this month is called Colors of Kyoto. Let's try a couple of snacks. Kyoto waffle matcha sandwich. Oh, so buttery. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Imagine the most butteriest delicious waffle with a hint of green tea that is not overpowering. Oh my god. Colorful komachi rice crackers. They look so cute. Oh, very fluffy and airy. Not overpowering at all. Exclusive black sesame candy. Oh, it smells like sesame snaps. Oh, oh, oh you are my baby now. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, oh. I'll be back. Japanese version of sesame snap, pretty much. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box below. Use the code NERDYJACKIE10 to get up to $44 off. That's 10%. Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send me something. I'm hoping to be able to catch up, but please know that you just have to be patient. I just don't want to open packages off camera because if you took the time to send me something, to go out, out of your way and send it at, at the post office, I want to at least open it on camera so that you can see my genuine reaction. So that's why I'm behind, right? Yeah. If you want to watch more vlogs, make sure you check up here. I'll see you grains in the next video. You done? Yeah? <laughs>